Sneak a peek, let's get it! <laughs> Whoa! Busted! <laughs> Such a weirdo, man. <laughs>, it's your boy SpeedyYT back at it again with another video guys today we're playing the complex now uh, sorry if you see resume there that is because I started recording this and for some reason my face cam just went out like it stopped work so and yeah I, I couldn't find a file it wasn't there so I was like great so like I'm gonna have to restart the whole entire thing and I kind of got yeah I, I wouldn't say far but I kind of got a little bit into it. So basically kind of for like the first uh first while I'm I'm I I, I know what's going to happen. But in this scene I feel like they were in or they're in a war right now or something like that. And like I don't know, something's hey, happening so that, uh, people are getting infected with this type of thing Did you get blood that's going on, and, uh, mm -hmm. they're trying to figure out what's going on with it, I so, yeah, I mean, I'm just, drone. that's what I'm figuring uh, out right now. We dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops, boy was playing with a soccer ball. Oh, you mean, uh, a football? Hi, I'm Amy, your... Handle. Pleasure to meet you, Donald. Are you going to hurt me? Okay, so I put lighthearted for this one. I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Yeah. Okay. Freeze, She's I need freaking to out. Freaking out, dude. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. It's okay. Tell him. It's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay. And she's freaking out as well. Love that. All right. All right. What's your name? Dima, we're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us will stand against him. Oh. Tell me. We're just gonna ruin my life. Tosa. Be realistic. It's very serious. You're in the best possible hands, I promise. Honesty. It's very nice to hear it for once. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Dima! I'm, I'm definitely gonna save Dima. Like, come on, bro. She has a baby. Dima, give me I'm not arm. letting that baby die. Dima, please, you have to trust me. This will save you and your baby. And like, Tallow, come on, bro. Like, you're a man. You should, like, come on. You should get it. I mean, like, I, I, I know Reese, it's tough. It's I tough. Save them both. But you've got to... Reese! And Reese just just left. He just left. See, Talo could have survived as well. But no, 
he skedaddled. He was like, yeet, I'm out of here. So then that's, and that's just great, isn't it? That's just beautiful. Delectable. Great. Just beautiful. Mwah. Just love that. We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Bro, those Natalie has in the even middle are developed looking an pretty internship small, program like for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our I mean, it's cool, interns but are here with us today. It's looking pretty small. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Engage. Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington. She's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Good one. Okay, so she has on one of those now, little work the real clothes that here. the little em the employees complex. have there. So our impenetrable HQ she's looking a little a little to Natalie's jitty, specifications you know? by the world-renowned Parker so, uh, Deep within the complex yeah. is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Sorry if I keep on looking at my camera. I'm just trying to see if it like won't uh, shut down hey. again. Are you okay? Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, okay? We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. What's your problem? Okay. This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development good. and securely She's back at the complex. She's not looking but too, uh, you know, once spicy. Ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. Oh, okay, love that, love that, that's great. Okay, all right, beautiful. Love that, that is not tasty, that is not zest delicious, but, uh, okay, yeah. She definitely has like, something going on. Amy, you're needed urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. The car now. It's an emergency. 
I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. I told you. See, now all this is, uh, you're pretty, here. uh... This is beyond our remit. Pretty... Oh. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. And we were waiting on your word before moving her. A single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Let's, let's use the drone. Drone. Don't fuck it up. Okay. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. So I'm guessing this is the complex. This definitely looks like the complex. Keep yourselves busy. Space sweet. Okay. Bodies of our renegades. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country, I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. Got hey, this guy. Um, it's been a while, Dr. Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. All right. Yikes. Denied a hug. He hate to see it. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumor? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we considered the hysteria might actually be valid. But terrorism, I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have stayed away. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, really? Look. Why are you skydiving or bungee jumping or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologizing for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. Wait, so is is that what he did? And if you could come back and let me know did he sessions. leave to go okay. skydiving? You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Let's follow him. Can we go, please? Now, I'm gonna use the toilet as well. There are toilets down there. Amy!
Gender oh. fluid toilets. <laughs> New policy. Definitely, yeah, totally. <laughs> Uh, are you good, bro? Like, you good? He just take like a deep breath in, deep breath out. Like, what's he doing? He's crawling on the toilet. No, <laughs> like. From your assistant staying in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Okay. All right, from here on night, this is like new to me. Just, ju just. Man, is this my tech? Yes. But how? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I'll get to the bottom of that. You just get the nano cells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nano cells are inside of her. It, it was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Woo! Oh my God, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. Now uh, you're you're getting a bit too excited there, buddy. Let's change with Reese. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, right? Yeah. And Kinder. Sneak a peek, let's get it! <laughs> Whoa! Busted! <laughs> Such a weirdo, man. <laughs> They're definitely gonna have some sort of relationship during this. We're going like, they space. can't not have a freaking relationship during this. Come on, man. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical... barriers. How long have you worked here again? Engage. Let's Four talk to him. Wednesday. You know, well, let's have a nice yeah. time. It's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a oh, reset. see, he did try anything. See, now that's kind of uh, anything that could help that's us kind today? of a bad move, dude. Why? Why would you oh, leave no. and go skydiving, dude? You know that you have so long to go skydiving, but. You decided to go style I mean, that exact day. Like, come on, bro. Really? So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touche. Vacuum conditions inactive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. 
feels like we're at the centre of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls? Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Markin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. So are we going to be in the role Holy of Amy shit. this whole entire day? attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. <sighs> no, okay. no, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Mm, feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? Be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What's Mina? Terrorist organization. Oh, will you stop that, please? Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells spreading... aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample. So she is a terrorist. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. OK. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just. I'll get back to you. End call. Oh. What should we do, Doctor? Ah, oh, Fred, we're going to have to make a choice, aren't I? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. Oh, okay. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of your <laughs> All right, I did not want to choose, dude. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Be careful, yo. Replace this, okay? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's a little rusty. You know I mean? And done. Don't go anywhere. Is, is... Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Is, is he gonna... It's in the way, it needs to be moved. Reese? Reese, Dr. Wakefield. Can you move this crate, please? Fucking assistant. Yeah, I'm working, man. You do us a favour. I've still got to deal with this. I'm in the middle of this. Cheers, fella. Dr. North. Dr. North. 
I'm sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Come on now. Uh, Can't let him die. I already told you to He's get... gone. Oh. Maybe I should have gone check out her. Maybe. Uh, 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 Just uh, maybe. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> Wait, so I Reese would have freaking died. Pumpkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? So Reese would have freaking Not... died if he. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh. Oh, is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Well, get the knife out of his leg. <laughs> like, it's still in there. How is he? Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. What the fuck? No mistake yet. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Just yeah, yank it. Have at least left us some of our expensive whiskey. Mm -hmm. Just yank it. Ah. Uh, this is gonna stink. Tell a joke. What does the sign say on an out of business brothel? Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh! Beat it. We're close. Mm. <sighs> Fuck <up>. off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least she thought it was funny. Ha ha ha. Clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. <sighs> no, clean the frickin' room. Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? <clears throat> Search for disinfectant. Wait here, I'm gonna go see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, I mean, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Better if he's okay, right? Dude, I swear, I'm I'm so bad at Just these bad decisions. Hello. Cause like I'm Hello. actually trying to. Can anyone hear me? Amy. Go to Reese. Hang tight, Claire. Where? It's just like Yemen. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> We're gonna try and fix up this guy, right?
Southern? No. That came from the void. Is everything good, bro? Oh, love that, dude. Something's what wrong. Is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. Okay, so are we gonna check on Amy again? Right, got it. These are the security cameras in the void. Shit on the IRA. The cavalry? In masks? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. Um, no prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. All right, oh, well, great. Walls, eh? Well, do something about it then. Like, come on, bro. You good. This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. Like, like, bro. Like, you good. You good. Bro, that guy ain't doing anything. He on the window screen. <laughs> like, what? That guy's literally not doing anything. He's yeah, on the window know. screen. Look, they're Kandarian, too. I knew you were part of something bigger. I'm puzzled together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips, too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. Upgrade. Oh, and now they're fucking with us. Answer call. call! Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead. And so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They've deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Bro, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get onto this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Leak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. What now, Claire? We move the dead people. Now that she mentions it. Okay, how about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding. Hacking. I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that a bit me. Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give her a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? 
I told you I'd have to kill you. You ready? Wait, we shouldn't... Look, if she's got nothing to hide, what's the issue? We're in this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Let's do it! Attack! 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 She won't know. The intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done has caused electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? No one can think this clear situation's any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please! Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce the security upgrade. I clear the eyeways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. Hey, bud. How's it going? Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? I'm not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? <laughs> Isn't that totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Give her morphine. I don't want to let her suffer. Passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Cute. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Oh, I got them all. Mina. Who's Mina? Claire. Don't, don't die. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Edit, answer, sir. Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah, tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing our security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets amid TV links off. to- off. Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays quote. Excuse me. Emily, wait. Please, give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, an another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. I'm going to move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplani myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm going to look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I think the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. 
Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me oh, past the oh. vent cover. Dude, I thought she died. <laughs> I thought she died, man. Delicate. What? What? Like? What? Like? Like, bro? What are you trying to do? Wished I was taller. Hey, can you help me with that? Hey, mate, do you need a hand? Yeah. See, even with one leg, Wakefield is the MVP. Most vanishing person? Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, that was no. harsh. No, 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 I'm proud you've gone some whip. Come on. Interesting. It's like a freaking freaking whole like agency observation type thing. Reese, the vent continues behind the oxygen tank. Can you squeeze past it? Only one way to find out. Proceed with caution. Do not just go for it. You gotta proceed with caution. Mm. You see, some people would have just, some people just would have went for it, but no, you gotta proceed with caution. Hey, friggin'. I think there's something further on. Okay. Oh, shit. Frick. That's bad. That's not good. It does look like this place have, has been uh, scrambled with, definitely. Tindar. Cute, marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> What's his deal? No, oh, they ain't coming for you. There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Fucking 
sneaky bastard. Well, Wait. here's her. Claire got access to the lab? Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Excuse me? Wait, what were you? You injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? Okay. I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employees to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6. To... <clears throat> oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? Give her morphine. Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. Yo, this is mad interesting, not gonna lie. I, I mean, this, this is mad interesting. They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, guys, guys. There's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? I mean, obviously I don't have, a, you know, enough you know decisions or like things to click to but i mean it's i i i, I lab was built i'm pretty like in the story not gonna lie so excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking amy and call reese what do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again we've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit Are you good, bro? Look, I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. You need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinda. <laughs> what is it? It's a flash drive. Just watch. Well then, I like it. Careful, Emmy. Oh, 